Walter Overcourt here, you're welcome indeed to another edition of the program. Now, don't forget later on, we're crossing over to Manchester to join Martin Logan once again, who's out and about with the Irish community right across the UK. But this week, you know, we hear so much about rural pubs, the decline of them, people not going out. But we happen to be in Cross Malina this week to one of the oldest pubs in the town, dating back to 1911 in the company of uh, John and Denise Mohan. And I can tell you, the place is absolutely buzzing. We haven't to come along tonight because there's a barbecue in full session. And believe it or not, we're going to start off the evening with a great siege of Venice. So here goes. Oh, my God. 
Michelle, you're very welcome to uh, Mohan's Pub here. Of course, you're a regular here, aren't you? I sure am a regular. This is a fantastic spot. This place, Mohan's Bar, and all the crowd you hear tonight. It's the real McCoy, wasn't that? Yeah. Fantastic. Fantastic. Um, I just think it's fantastic to have Ramblin' House here, to have the Irish at home and abroad here, to be able to see what is a regular occurrence here, the barbecue, the hospitality. Really, when they say about the rural pub and it being at the centre of the community, uh, Mohan's Bar is testament to that. It's a fantastic place to come. It's a great place to come, break the ice, meet people, dance, uh, and do what we're very, very good at it, as, as Irish people. And I just want to compliment here tonight um, um, the Coonies and uh, Denise and John and the Mahan family. Um, they really know how to put on a good show and it's absolutely fantastic to have you here tonight. Isn't that right, folks? Yeah. <laughs> Joined now by three generations of uh, the Mohan family who have been running this pub since uh, 1911, quite some time ago. Uh, you're the current uh, owner, uh, Denise. I am, yeah. It's quite, quite a busy place, isn't it? Well, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Is it, is it tough being in the business now, the, the pub business? Oh, it has. Well, the pub business has changed now. We're here 21 years this year now, so I've changed with the you know, now changes in our time. You know. How do you manage to keep <coughs> going and what a successful now? It is a successful thing, isn't it? You're just a love of it, really, you know, and just the atmosphere and the people that keeps us going. And your mum is here as well. She's retired from the business. Yes, I am. Yeah. Yeah. And how, how different is it now uh, today than your day when you were running it? Well, I suppose it has, it's got a lot easier in ways and more difficult, I suppose, in other ways. Well, of course, we had great employment here in this town and Port of Mon and ESB, and they're gone. So that means it makes an awful difference to the pub. Um, it's a tough life, you know, it always has been and always will be, I suppose. The hours are very long and you don't have much time for family life. So. Do you miss it now? Oh, I missed it for a long time, yeah. But I'm so far away, I can still come back and visit when I want to. It's not too bad. You know. And you're the next generation now that's uh, in the pub business here in Martin, just in uh, Cross Carolina. Where would you like to see and what would you like to do in the pub? Well, I'd like it to go into good hands anyways. I don't know. Maybe in the future. Hopefully it'll keep, like, it'll keep on going now. You know, a lot of like, you see a lot of pubs closing around the place now, especially in North Mayo. But like, you no, know, you'd like to see it going anyway, especially if it would be great if it could, like, could stay in the family, but sure, if not, you know, what can we do? But, um. And of course, you have a lot of events uh, taking place here throughout the year, don't you? Yeah, yeah we do. Festivals starting now, shortly. That's big That's now, yes. That's going to be a big yeah. have, isn't it? Oh, it is, yes, yes. And we have a few um, charity barbecues in the old St. Conda weekend, which is a very big busy weekend for us for all the time. And um, yes, Wednesday now to Sunday, hopefully a good packed week. Busy. <laughs> and your husband, of course, John, he's very involved in the business. Oh, he is, yes, yeah. The true husband. <laughs> We wish you would continue success here in Mohans. Yeah, and obviously, whatever you're doing, it's it's working. So long may continue. You've done a great 21 years here and hand it on to the next generation. Thank you very much for joining us. Thanks, Ian. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Well, what a great evening of music, song and dance in Mohan's Pub here in Cross Malina. Certainly everybody had a great time. Well, unfortunately, that brings us to the end of the programme. Uh, just to remind you that there will be a repeat on Saturday at 8 o'clock. And uh, after the break, we're heading over to Manchester once again to join Martin Logan, who's out and about with the Irish community across the UK. Well, that's it for now. Thank you for joining us. Do join us again next week at the same time. So until then, it's long before.